a problem. Wind energy is a clean way of producing energy, but most wind turbines remain idle when not in use. And electricity cannot be used in cars that run on gasoline. Ethanol has the potential to be the next generation transportation fuel. But current technologies require expansive land use and concerns have been raised about ethanol production affecting food crops. So, here we are with an innovative process called as Biovinol technology that would integrate wind energy and biological fermentation process for producing ethanol. The first step in the proposed Biovinol technology is procuring carbon dioxide sequestered from the industrial processes. Using electricity generated during off-peak hours, we can take water and produce hydrogen. Using licensed microbes, the technology will convert carbon dioxide and hydrogen to ethanol. And it's just not ethanol. Microbes will be able to create other value-added chemicals. We have a long way to go. This research is currently in the proof of concept stage at the Oklahoma State University Bioenergy Labs. Our goal is to establish a ethanol and advanced biofuel industry catering the transportation fuel sector in the state of Oklahoma by the year 2015. Any biofuel production process should be cost competitive with current technologies and gasoline. It should also leave a minimal negative impact on the environment. With the abundance of carbon dioxide and wind energy, biovinyl technologies can be cost competitive. And this technology is 100% green. Not only does it capture harmful greenhouse gases, CO2, but it also produces a much needed transportation fuel, ethanol. The technology would create decentralized energy production systems, improve rural economies, and would create the much required transportation fuel that the country has been seeking for decades. Thank you.